Hey gang, this is Andy over at the Creator Launch at Profit. Wow, I just came off a show on the Facebook Live TV show uh, fan page. Oops, let me get rid of this. <laughs> Not supposed to be showing up yet. <laughs> let me push that off to the side. Oops, did I go the right way? No, it's supposed to go this way. Um, uh, sorry about that. I was um, over there uh, doing a show with my brand new good friend, Ashley Anderson. And uh, of course, I was using Mimo Live as my camera in blue jeans. And for whatever reason, here, let me bring up my picture and picture. Oh, I don't have the one for the Facebook Live TV show. Um, hold on. Stand by. This isn't going much much better either. So, <laughs> yeah, let me just put that back up there. Why is it not showing? You know what? This uh, darn update to Mimo Live has just caused all kinds of issues. Now, I'm afraid. I'm, I better look and see if my phone is still operating no i just killed it again oh there it goes it just came back on oh my gosh well my picture and picture is frozen uh it's not working so memo live or boinks actually who runs uh, memo live uh, get this all fixed because i i've been so happy with memo live over the I, I wanted to say years but it hasn't been years that i've been using it. it's only been probably about seven or eight months but it has been such a solid program for me. But uh, since the update, I had virtual camera problems. I just, uh, well, on Facebook Live uh, TV show, I had it crash on me, which then I had to go to the camera uh, down on the, um, on the computer. And now I'm broadcasting straight out of Mimo Live because I'm afraid to use uh, blue jeans and just want to make sure that uh, uh, Mimo Live works. And so, and now I'm hitting this button over here and it's completely frozen. Oh, look at that. Now it started to work again. So there's the picture in picture, uh, which is right here. Uh, and remember, uh, if I haven't told you, when if you're doing video uh, and you have a picture in picture, make sure that when you set up either an OBS or Mimo Live that you set your picture in picture uh, below your camera. In other words, in the settings, below meaning that it's on the list and it's below. If you have it above the camera, I'll show you what happens here. Uh, just taking a chance here that it, it, it's going to crash everything. So if I put it above my camera, now my hand goes behind it. You see that? So you want to make sure that this asset right here for your picture in picture is below in, in, the, in the list of assets is below the camera. That way the picture in picture is behind any any hand gestures and that kind of stuff and so that when you're waving about your hand doesn't disappear behind something that you don't want it to disappear so i'm going to put my phone back up here on the tripod that i had it earlier and i want to show you this brand new app and, and now um uh, i wasn't planning on coming in to create it uh, launch it profit to share this but because it went horribly wrong i did not get the opportunity to share what it looks like on my phone so i'm going to bring in my phone here and it's going to slide in perfect so the reason this looks a little odd is because as you probably know, if you're an iPhone person, the apps don't turn sideways when your phone goes sideways. When I open the app, the app, good news, is the app itself will turn sideways in landscape uh, when you do that. But what I wanted you to see is I'm going to make this uh, actually a little bit bigger so you can see how awesome it is that uh, my my coach over there, Ashley, is uh, right next to me. So it looks like we're kind of like a, a couple, even though she's like 30 years younger than I am. Uh, but uh, big deal. <laughs> All right, uh, so it, I, I just wanted to uh, show that there, and so that's pretty cool. So Ashley is my coach, uh, my manager. I call her a coach. She's actually like the uh, my account manager uh, for my uh, creating this app. So the app is essentially an app that you give to people that you want them to have as much information uh, about you as possible, and you actually are an app on their phone in their pocket anytime uh, that you and. Um, uh, you know, want them to find something about you or they think about, gosh, I wonder uh, who I can find for a speaker at my ne next event. Oh, I have Andy as an app on my phone and I know he's a speaker and that's the person they're going to think of. If you are their coach, say you're the coach of somebody and you want them to have access to the trainings that are taking place and your videos and that kind of stuff and you have like a video call that you put out every month or so or a podcast that you put out every week about something, there can be a button on your app. So I'm going to open up my app now. Just by clicking on my app, you can see that it'll open up there. And there's my app. And so let me just make sure that the picture gets fitted in there a little bit better so you can see it. Uh, and this is what they see when they open that. This You're actually looking at my phone right now. And as I scroll up, you're going to see that there's buttons on there that have different things. And you can put whatever you want. These are things that actually help me create on my phone 
so that I can make sure that when I give my app to somebody, they have access to the things that I want them to have access to. And for right now, for what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, get people to hire me as a coach to create their celebrity and authority. I want them obviously to know that I've done the things that I'm going to be coaching them and that when I've done the things that I've coached, that I'm coaching them, that I've had success. So I want them to see that because of creating celebrity and authority that I have ended up on TV. So I'm going to take this away just for a second. So I want them to see by going to my app that uh, number one, that I have a sizzle reel that shows me on television with Cesar Milan. For instance, he and I did a show together. Uh, and so how did I get on that show with him? Well, I wrote a number one best-selling book. Actually, I've written six number one best-selling books, four of them being international bestsellers, right? So there, there is where it starts for me. That starts my um, authority uh, as a, an expert in that niche of dog training, right? How did I do that? Did I just go to a park and teach at a park or show up in PetSmart one day and say, you know, I'm a dog trainer, hire me? No. Uh, I wrote a number one best-selling book. Not only that, it's an international one, number one best-selling book. Uh, that number one best-selling book has gotten me on TV. It got me on ABC, NBC, CBS, uh, the, uh, the CW, uh, Fox, it's gotten me on Animal Planet. It's gotten me on National Geographic and National Ge uh, Nat Geo Wild. Uh, it got me on a show with Caesar Milan. And you see the power of this app. This app will connect them with the books that I've written because there's a, a, a link to that. There's a link to my sizzle reel. There's a link to a video that shows me speaking on stage. And then there's a link to where I want them to go, which is my product that teaches them how to create their own Facebook Live TV show. Uh, there's a link uh, to the product that teaches them about how to create their own product that they're going to sell and it's going to make money while they sleep, right? There's a link for all that stuff. There's a link on how to get a hold of me. So if I were to just scroll up here and, and just tap on that very first one, contact me, my information is all right there for them on their phone. So they can email me, they can call the office, they can call my cell phone, and they can text me. There's a button that sends them directly to where it is that you, whatever communication you want. If you don't want people texting you, don't include the button for texting. If you don't want them calling you, only include the one for texting, right? Or just email. Just leave all the rest off and have them email you. Oh, you know, I didn't share my screen. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. Sorry about that. I got a little excited and, and, and didn't show you the app. I, you know, I told Ashley that I was way more professional than what she was seeing. Apparently not. I'm not more professional. All right. So this is what the, let me go back and just show you. So there it is. Right here at the very top is contact me. I click on contact me. It then goes over to the contact. There you go. So you got email, call the office, uh, call the cell and text. And again, you just don't have the one on there that you don't want people to use. I'm thinking I may take off my cell phone. I think I want them to call the office uh, because my phone rings and buzzes and does all kinds of things that maybe um, I just don't want uh, something. I don't want to miss a call. And that's what ends up happening. It's not that I don't want them necessarily calling me on my cell phone. It's just I don't want to miss a call. All right. So what's the next thing? So share or refer my app. So if uh, say that you have my app and you see, you're talking to somebody that needs a coach to help them with uh, you know learning how to do Facebook Live, and they go, oh well, I know this guy. As a matter of fact, I have his app on my phone, and they can sh they can share or refer my app to somebody that they're speaking to. All they do is click on that. And what they do is they enter the person's um, uh, the person's name and their phone number, and then hit done, and then send it over to them and shares the app. Oh, and their email address, and so you send it to them, and that's easy as one, two, three, right? So you have people out there working for you because your app is on their phone. Uh, now we got the intro video. This will lead to the video of me speaking on stage, which again, uh, for me right now, I want people to see that I'm on stage speaking and I want them to see an example of a talk that I Thank you. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah, kick ass. Go do it. Thank you. Thank you. Like it. Right? So there is that. Let me just get rid of that so it's not playing in the background. Uh, and then... So what I'm doing, I'm just sharing you my app here. So you got uh, training videos. Oh, this is a cool one. Hopefully it'll show up and it'll look cool because um, it is awesome. So I have now. So what I had uh, Ashley do is she connected. So it's gonna. It doesn't look like this on my screen. Remember, uh, Facebook does not turn the landscape. It only it only is in profile, um, not profile. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it doesn't turn landscape. And so, but look at this. All these videos are the videos that are in my Facebook Live TV show. And so people can have access of, to all the trainings that I've done on the Facebook Live TV show. And it's all right there because the link that's connected to that button goes to the videos that are listed on the Facebook. Isn't that, that's just freaking great. People can just spend 
a whole afternoon with you. They can uh, just take in all their information. Now, they probably won't want to do it with me, but at least it's all there. Uh, request service. Request service. And there it is. There's information. You just uh, type in the notes and send, and I get a notification that they want me to contact them. Um, uh, let's go further down. Zero to Hero Training. This goes to the landing page for my product of creating your own Facebook Live TV show. Now, I may, cre I may change this now that I have this app that really just sends them to all of my products, not just uh, this one particular product, but isn't, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited to go to this event. I have an event coming up in San Diego here on Thursday and Friday. I cannot wait to share this app with the people. I wish I would have had it the other day when I was there um, in front of all the people that uh, we were helping create uh, best-selling authors. Um, but what else is down here? I'm excited to see. Create your own TV show. Uh, testimonials. So I hit on that. So people go, well, let's see what other people are saying. Here we have uh, Jesse Schwartzberg, who I spoke on her stage, and she uh, gave me a testimonial. Uh, one of the most memorable and well-done talks. Way to go, Andy. Um, and you got Mar Mario Facelli. Sometimes Mario's watching these shows. Maybe he's watching right now. He says, Andy, uh, Falco Human is bringing me and I bet the whole audience to tears. Wow, speechless. Incredible job, Andy. Knocked it out. So what do you think it is that people are going to see when they see these testimonials? They're going to see the real people. Uh, and I can actually even direct them to these people. You got Taylor. I like that Taylor uh, uh, Johnson has her thumbs up like that. That's actually a picture from her Facebook page. And so I thought I'd grab that one and use that. It looks like she's given the thumbs up for my talk when, in fact, um, uh, no. <laughs> it's just a picture that was on her Facebook. Uh, Susan Ferrer from British Columbia. Uh, we got Rick Simone. I took this picture because he's there with Damon, uh, what's his name, from uh, Shark Tank. And uh, again, Gis Grave, a great uh, testimonial. And, uh, oops, sorry, let me go back to the app. So what else is on here? So I think you see the, my point and why I'm so excited about this app, that instead of having them text your name and email address to a, uh, an opt-in and that kind of stuff, you just have them download this app to their phone and uh, they have all your stuff here. Here's a, a direct link to my Facebook Live TV show and then a little bit more about me. And that's a bunch of info that uh, I'll probably change because this uh, it was taken from my website. But it was good for uh, for now, just for something to be on there. Then you can have the then you have the share button again. You already saw that. Then you have more. So I have more options. And if somebody wants to do more, here are my um, re uh, referral links uh, to um, uh, Twenty Two Social, Kajabi, uh, Mimo Live, uh, Live Leap. Uh, uh, obviously to Falco Canine Academy, uh, by my dog training books, to uh, my personal website, to my LinkedIn, to my Facebook, to my Twitter, to my Instagram, and to my Pinterest. All of it is there for people to find out, and it's in one spot there on my app. Whew. I'm exhausted just telling you all about that. Uh, I'm exhausted because my last show, everything crashed and burned, and thank God Ashley was on and she saved the day. So if you want to meet Ashley, um, just go ahead and go to uh, the Facebook Live TV show uh, and watch that video. You can hear her talk about uh, the app. Uh, and I am not, I, I'm, I've not been hired by them uh, at, at this point, not yet, uh, to sell this app. I am excited about this app because I think that it really does give me a, um, uh, a leg up on uh, the competition because now I can send them to an app that gives them more of my information. This is not probably the way it's going to stay. Uh, I'm going to probably move some stuff around, and then I'm, I'm also busy creating another uh, uh, website right now that will kind of give us a little bit more options when people click on it. Uh, and so I think on the uh, intro videos, I think I'm going to have a page on this website that really is the probably the two or three most interesting, most um likely to get people's attention videos on them and those are the ones i want people to see right off the bat and then um again change some of the contact information i do think i'll take off myself might take my cell phone because i'd rather have people go to my assistant for right now because she's way better at scheduling me and, and making sure that i don't overlap stuff and then anyway just move a couple things around but it's easy i can do it or my account manager ashley can do that for me let me actually go to the Facebook page here and just see if there's any questions that people might have um, about what it is I'm showing you. This is how I intended the other show to go, uh, and uh, unfortunately, it uh, did not go that way. So let me take it off here really quick and see if we have any comments. We have one comment. What's our one comment? Hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy, I think you'll love this app. I think that um, um, it's a very, very useful app. Um, 
for all of us in this industry that you can just simply give to people and get in their pocket. The app is, oh, you know what? You're right. I haven't s told anybody what it is. It's called Tap. Uh, hold on. Let me, um, so I'm going to send you uh, Ashley's information. I got to open up a Facebook page here on my computer. Uh, let me get that all for you. I have to go to the the other one. Hold on. It is called Card Tap. Card Tap is the actual name of the product. Oh, I didn't even I didn't share with you the um, all the analytics that goes along with it. There's analytics that are just crazy. You can tell. You can set it up so that every time somebody taps on your um, app, you get notified. So when somebody taps on it, it notifies you, hey, somebody's on your app right now. And it keeps analytics as to what people are tapping on. So basically, if you have a, a button there that nobody's tapping on, that nobody's interested on, then maybe you don't want it on there. and Or maybe it's not the name. Maybe it's one you want them to go to and they're not. Maybe the name is wrong. So there's, there's all kinds of analytics that's going to help you uh, really hone this app down to what it is you truly want people to see and uh, to really um, uh, have access to. So I'm trying to find the links here so I can share them to you. I'm just going to give you Ashley's um, app right now. Can you do live interviews on it? Mm, that I don't know. It's not that's not uh, possible. Yeah, I I would not uh, I wouldn't say that at some point they may not have that option. <laughs> and, you know, just the way uh, it. I mean, there's so many cool things you can do with it. Um, so I'm gonna copy Ashley's information here. Hold on, and I'm gonna send it to you in the the Facebook page. Hold on, really quick. Just gotta move around here. Of course, things are moving slow because I am broadcasting from this laptop. All right, so let me find the live feed. Okay, here we go. All right, this is Ashley's app. So you are going to want to click on that, download her app onto your phone, and you'll have all of her information. And if you want to see a closer look of mine, maybe that is something you want to do. I'm going to put mine in there so that you can actually um, download it to your um phone and just take a look and see what it does. I, I think that you'll find that it's actually going to be a very useful tool. And we talked about how this, um, this app would be great for attorneys, right? Uh, somebody calls um, the office and says, you know, I want to learn a little bit more about you and, uh, and what it is you have to offer. Now, you can send them to your website, right? What happens when somebody goes to your website? They go to your website, and they click around, and then they, they uh, then all of a sudden they get a notification that Facebook, uh, you know, somebody on Facebook uh, wants to uh, grab their attention. And what do they do? They go off of that website, and then they go on to Facebook, and they do something else, and they do something else, and they go, shoot, I forgot where I was. They do a Google search and now go to another attorney. You know, we've done that. I, I mean, this, this isn't far-fetched. I have done that. I've gone searching for something and go, oh, shoot, where was I? <laughs> I clicked off of that website and forgot where I went. Instead, instead, what you do uh, is you send them uh, when they call the office and say, you know, I want to find out more. Well, we have an, an app that you can put on your phone and it's going to give you all the information that you need in regard to handling your case. So if you're a divorce attorney, if you are a um, defense attorney, if you are a business attorney, whatever that is, you can put your best stuff and access to your best stuff on that app. And so I think about business attorneys, right? We all need business. Everybody that are in business, we have needed a business attorney on some level. And so if you're a business attorney, what I would put on my app are some things that you don't necessarily, I mean, things you may make money with, right? You may make a hundred and something dollars off of uh, doing uh, somebody's um, uh, non-compete, right? And so you, but you know what you could do? You could give away a template for a, a good, solid non-compete um, uh, form in your app that they could download, right? And so you have them click on that. And this, so now they're getting something. Now they want to keep your app on their phone because there's free stuff that they can utilize and don't necessarily have to pay an attorney. Because in the end, what you want them to do is you want to develop this relationship. So when they get something where they're willing to pay maybe $500, uh, uh, you know, or, you know, your $300 an hour fee, is, is because now they're more likely to do it because you've given them some stuff that have been valuable. It was valuable for them to get that, that uh, non-compete 
because otherwise they may have to pay somebody else, right? And But they're now getting this relationship. Say that, that non-compete gets challenged. Who are they going to go to for representation? The person who gave it to them, right? And so you're going to want to, you know, maybe do something like that. Now, of course, you're going to have to decide whether uh, or not that that's going to be useful or not, but that's just an example. If you have a book, say you, you are not, you're not uh, an attorney and you've written a number one best-selling book on how to handle divorce cases, you're going to want them to have access to that PDF that you're going to give them access to on your phone so they can download it to their phone and read it uh, whenever they have an opportunity. Uh, and so that is the, the, the great thing about this particular app. Um, wouldn't it be cool? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Wouldn't it be cool if when you get notifications of them browsing, you send them a live video invite? I'm, I'm sure there's something you can do. Uh, I, I'm just, the, the, um, your imagination is going to lead you to what it is you can do with this app. I mean, and, and because you're getting their information, uh, when, they, when they get into your app, you're getting their name and email address and their uh, phone number uh, because they need the phone number in order to get into the app. That however you communicate with them, you don't want to just... Um, lambast them with information you want to make sure and get their in, their uh, permission to give them information but i'm sure you can it'll be then a, a way to communicate with them and give them something uh, and give them notification and, and access into something i don't know if ashley's on uh, or not i did tell her that i was coming into the create a launch at profit page so um ashley there's no way of you coming on on this camera because i'm not using blue jeans but if there's something that i'm saying uh, that you may have more information about just feel free to um write in the comment section um uh, uh, you know, some information that might be helpful. Uh, Dean Renfro, I'm glad to see you on here. Oh, Ashley, you are there. Hello, Ashley. I hope I'm not speaking about anything that's not interesting. But you, you can see now what I was trying to do with the app. <laughs> uh, Dean Renfro's on. Dean, this will be great for you. Oh, my gosh. You know, I was just thinking about, you know, when I saw your name there, that what a pastor could have uh, on there, you know. Uh, if pastors trying to create more interest in what they're doing, you can have passages on there. You can you can actually do maybe a Bible study uh, through the app. Uh, Ashley, do you have any uh, any um, uh, pastors that are using this particular app? Because I can just think that this would be become fairly useful uh, in communicating with the uh, the people that are in your church. What do they call those people? Uh, uh, parishioners. What do you call What do you call people in the church? I should know. I've been to a church. <laughs> I should know. But Dean Renfro, you, you're going to love this app. Dean, go, get a hold of Ashley right now. Have her build your app for you and just use it. I mean, what we were talking about the other day about how do we get more people. We have churches. I, I, I knew you would. I knew you would have to. Uh, no, not a pastor. What are the people in the church called? They're called the congregation. Oh, my gosh. It just came to me. So the congregation, you can actually on stage say, okay, everybody go to their app. And click on the button that says, uh, you know, uh, you know, the King James uh, version of the Bible. Maybe there's something that you're going to be speaking about that day. Oh my gosh, is this the greatest idea ever, Dean? Okay, so you have everybody that's in your congregation have the app on their phone, and so the people are there because I know you like to do Facebook Live uh, while you're uh, doing your pastor thing on Sundays. Uh, and I love watching those, by the way, is that you can have people go to their app. Hey, we're going to be talking about these passages. Go to the app for today's passages. On the, on the, on the app, you have a button that says today's passages. And they click on today's passages and it takes them to the uh, passages that you're going to be speaking about so that they can make reference to them right away. How, what, how fantastic is that? I just, I just gave that. We can do, uh, you can do donations. Oh, you can do donations. Right, you can do tithing. We would call that tithing in churches. Not, I guess you could call them donations, but you know, people could tithe through the app. Um, Dean Renfro, your business. Uh, you were on the other day doing a Facebook Live and you were giving a presentation. I can see right now that there is a presentation that I would love to make available to people when I'm speaking on stage. If you want copies of this presentation, you simply download my app and hit the button that says Today's Presentation. And they click on that button and they download the PDF version of that presentation. Just came to me. Don't tell me you already have that going on. Uh, I have an app platform that lets you create an Apple and Android. Nice. All right. So we have competition coming in. Oh, nice. We love competition. I love competition. Uh, Ashley, can I PM you? Yes, you can. I give you permission to PM 
uh, Ashley. She's my account manager. Don't steal my account manager. Um, fantastic. So this is really, really good stuff. We have some good engagement here. And again, this is one of the great things about Facebook Live is the engagement that's on there uh, and the things that you can do. James Coco. James Coco, what are you doing on my Create a Launch at Profit? James Coco is a dog handler of mine. He has a narcotics detection dog. One of my dogs from Ireland. Glad to see you, James Coco. Here is an app that you would need as you go into business with your dog that could teach people about what it is that you do with your dog. So you could have videos of your dog doing searches. You can have discussions. Uh, what types of narcotics does my dog search for and find? You have a button that clicks on that and it, uh, it'll list all the things that you can do with the dog. Another button is make an appointment with me to uh, come do a demo. Make an appointment with me to come do a search. Whatever those things, this app is for you. Having a video um, uh, that they can go to to see you in action and talk about what it is your dog can do. Having testimonials of people that you have uh, provided service with um, and uh, pe people that you've worked with and say, you know what, James Coco and his dog uh, came here and they uh, did a search and located something that we never would have found without the dog. Having those testimonials on that app would be fantastic. Um, does the app work outside the U.S.? Ashley, since you're on, uh, does your app work outside the United States of America's? Um, uh, John North is in Australia. Keep getting invalid phone number. So there you go. So John North is trying to get a hold of Ashley. He's in Australia. Ashley, how can he get a hold of you? And does it work in Australia? Oh, I'm going to keep on talking here because uh, I love, love, love this uh, engagement. And this is what this is all about. I'm going to go on all my other Facebook pages too. Oh, darn. It doesn't work in Australia. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Well, get it done, Ashley. Get a hold of your... Uh, Ashley, who's the name of your boss? I got to make sure and get a hold of him. Make sure and let me know who that is uh, because uh, I need to tell him, again, how fantastic you are. And then again, um, um, I may have uh, you know some, some things I need him to do. I need him to... There's things I need him to put in this app that just for me. Uh, one of those is make sure that it works in Australia. Uh, that is a, a, a common uh, issue with some of these texting uh, programs that, that we all purchase and use, whether it's TPNI or um, uh, Scipio and some of the others, is that then when we go across um, to other countries that we have uh, issues from time to time. Um, Oh, will you work in the UK? Sandy was all excited about using it. And uh, as you can see, actually, I have an, uh, I have an international uh, audience here. I will send over this information. Oh, his information. Great. Um, oh, darn. We want this to work, Ashley, in other countries. Get your boss and your, uh, your tech guys uh, on it. Make sure this works other places. Uh, Sandy is in the UK. Sandy, what part of the UK are you in? Are you actually in uh, England or are you in uh, Scotland, Ireland? Northern Ireland, sorry, Northern Ireland. I know Ireland and Northern Ireland are, are like, don't like each other very much. Um, you know, the funny thing about Ireland, I hate to go on the squirrel, but uh, I've been in both uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland. And it was funny watching the Weather Channel uh, when they put the weather up uh, for the UK. And uh, they put the weather for the UK and even some surrounding countries that aren't in the UK and yet the South Ireland is blank. <laughs> At least it was when I was there. There's nothing, there's no temperatures, nothing showing that even Ireland exists. At least that was the, the, the broadcast that I was watching. Oh, London. Uh, I've been to London, London probably 10 times and never actually been in London. Uh, I've landed in London uh, a whole bunch of times, never gotten out of the airport. Uh, I've always been on my way to Slovakia, uh, uh, Budapest, Hungary, uh, Paris, France, where else I've been going. I mean, I've never, I have to get out of the plane one of these times in London and actually go visit Sandy and have him show me around. Uh, that's one of my, uh, one of my plans. Uh, let's see, I'm just waiting for a couple other things to come up. So we are getting there. Okay. Well, Ashley says she's getting there in regard to going international. How about Canada, Ashley? Does it work in Canada? Because I know I have John uh, McCabe. We have um, uh, um, 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 Susan. We got a, a few people up there in Canada. 
I'm just going to keep you all day. You know, your job right now, uh, Ashley, is just take care of my needs. Do not, you cannot have, you can't have any other customers. <laughs> We're gonna keep you on all these broadcasts, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep you. All right, not yet, but it's something we are working on. How new? You know, one thing I didn't ask you: How new is this app? I got two things going on. I got my phone, and I got uh, the other thing happening here. Uh, expect the unexpected. It's been around for four, four years. Really? How come I'm just now hearing about it? You know, I've never, I can't say never. I don't often click on Facebook ads. I see them and look at them and then I try to, you know, sometimes we'll replicate what they're doing. On occasion, I do click on them and see where, they're, where they go and see what the landing page looks like and that kind of stuff. So I do do that. But I can't say that I've ever really... I'm trying to think if I've ever purchased anything off of a Facebook ad, even though uh, we're getting here. John North and I are going to teach people how to use <laughs> Facebook ads, and I should probably click on some and actually purchase stuff. But this is the first time. This was a Facebook, face, a Facebook ad. This was a Facebook ad that came to my phone uh, in the middle of the night. I think it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I looked at it, and I go, wow, that sounds really interesting, and uh, clicked on it um, and, uh, and actually have bought into it. And it's all from a Facebook ad. So good. So is uh, it built with apps, with apps moment or what? I don't know what that means. Maybe Ashley knows what that means. Uh, with over 10,000 customers. Nice. Yeah, I did see that. I think I saw that in a video. 10,000 customers. That's awesome. But four years. Wow. All right. I did not know that. Well, that's good. Uh, I wouldn't have really said anything bad if it was only like around for six months. But four years is good. It gives them time to work out most of the bugs and uh, make sure that everything's working well. But it uh, looks like they're working towards going international. And, um, and that is good. Well, at least Dean, out of all the people that are on here, Dean's in the United States. I know that for sure. And there'll be others. Uh, we are broadcasting on eight other Facebook pages right now. We have 24 people watching uh, currently. So um, if you're in the United States, let's just say this. If we have in the United States, um, oh, they've built out their own platform. So I guess that uh, answers um, Dean's question, I'm guessing. App company, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Dean, get a hold of Ashley, and uh, she will answer every one of your questions. And if she doesn't know, uh, she won't tell you something that's not true. She will find out uh, from somebody that does. That's, uh, that's um, I'm, I know just from talking to Ashley that she is legit and uh and worked worked very hard very quickly she got mine up and running in, in just a couple hours it was not a couple hours but overnight the following day it might have been a couple hours but the following day my app was up and she had found stuff that i did not even think of uh, i think I'd, I'd mentioned to somebody uh, let me actually bring my phone back in here uh again uh since uh, i'm gonna describe i did not even Oops. think of uh, i think i would mentioned that it's me looking at me looking at myself uh going on my app and this was one of the greatest things. I just thought this was so cool. Um, resource list. And so uh, Ashley found my list for, and I may, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't bring it up on this show. I think I did on the other. Brought up my list of recommendations for uh, the products that I would suggest somebody get to run their own Facebook Live. And she put it in the app. So one of the things that I tell people, and one of my lead magnets, uh, obviously, for people is for them to get this list. And so now in my app, I'll say, hey, do you want that list of products, which happened to me probably 15 times last week at the uh, 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 Publish and Profit, that people go, so what do you use to create a product? What do you use for your camera? What do you use uh, to broadcast a Facebook Live? And I said, well, you have to go to my Facebook page and then you have to go, no, no longer. Now I say, well, I have an app, just download the app and everything is in there. And just so much easier for them to do it. And they can click uh, and it'll take them to 22 Social right there. And there they are. That is my affiliate link. And they can get in there right away. So it all happens from starting point being in the app. How cool is that? And again, I wasn't even expect. I'm not even sure I would have thought of that. Uh, putting my resource list in there. And there it is. There's my resource list for everybody to uh, utilize and see. 
And again, it's my lead magnet, right? And when you want people to be able to get access to your lead magnet very, very easily, and there it is. They, they get a hold of it and get it in their hands and begin click, uh, clicking around. All right. I can talk forever on this. How long did it take to build the app? It, 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 not at all. I talked to Ashley uh, in the evening. I remember. I, I remember. I remember. I was, uh, Ashley called me in the morning um, and already had it, um, uh, uh, I think, created. Uh, pretty much created by the time. <laughs> by the time I... Um, Talked to her and I was pulling into the uh, uh, the dry cleaner, and it was just done. It was it was done quickly, done very quickly. Ashley's fast. Um, but in the UK, oh, I got gotcha, you, Sandy. Yeah, I thought you were in California, and but but then when you told me you were in the UK, okay, cool. All right, Dean. Yeah, Dean, get, just download her app and get in it, talk to her. It, it, I'm telling you, I can just sit here and just think about all these different things that I want to do with it now um, and what I want to help other people do. Hey, Nobby. Oh, Nobby, another Australian. You, um, you will love this app. Unfortunately, it's not available in Australia right now, but it's, uh, this app is fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have tons of fun uh, working with this app and getting people in there. Uh, dy- is it dynamic content? I don't know. Ashley? I wish you were on camera this time. So now that my, uh, my Mimo Live is working, she's not on here to answer these questions. Oh, there you go, Ashley. Thanks for connecting it again. Good. Uh, is it dynamic content? I'm sure I probably should know what that is. Uh, I have heard that before, and I, I, it's just not coming to me why. I don't know. Does it, I'm wondering if that means that it opens up in the app or it actually redirects to a website. Maybe. I'm going to leave this going so Ashley can maybe answer the question. I'll give her an opportunity here to type type in. And then maybe somebody can explain what dynamic content is. I may be right, but then again, I may be wrong. I hate it when there's people much smarter uh, than me on these broadcasts, which is just about everybody. Yes and no. All right, so there's some uh, actions that are dynamic and some that are not. Cool. Cool, cool. Anything else coming in? We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of questions here. And I'm good. All right. So for sure, Ashley, uh, what I'm going to tell all of you that are watching, am I back on camera or am I back on the phone? Okay. So I'm sorry about staring at my my, uh, computer there. So uh, I've already told Ashley that we need to come back next week because, uh, like I said, in the Facebook Live TV show, my entire Mimo Live just crashed and burned and uh, to the ground. And uh, I was not able to share my screen or my phone and uh, none of the stuff that I could normally do. So we're going to bring Ashley back. Uh, get uh, I, First of all, just get a hold of Ashley between now and then anyway and, and get some of your questions right off the bat answered. Get your app uh, built. And, uh, and then let's come back next week somewhere around maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember what I have going on next week. I know I got a couple of court cases and things coming up, so I'm going to look at my calendar. But look for the posting that will uh, let you know that we'll be coming back, talking a little bit more about this app. We'll get Ashley back on again, and, uh, and maybe even somebody else in the, in the uh, company if she wants to. It, I, she's perfectly uh, capable, but uh, if she wants to add somebody else, that's fantastic. Uh, we'll answer some more of these questions that uh, are coming up that, uh, uh, that obviously people have lots of questions about. But uh, in the meantime, get a hold of Ashley, get a hold of this app, get it on your phone, start using it. I'm going to begin using it uh, uh, extensively in a couple days. I'm going to be in San Diego at the, gosh, what are they calling it? I'm going to be at, with Mike Koenigs at an event. And I don't even know what we're doing. He invited me <laughs> to come down. And you would think that I would know exactly what it is I'm doing, but I don't. What am I doing in San Diego? It's not speak and profit. It's called something else. Hold on. Uh, I want to tell you because I'm going to be broadcasting live uh, from there. Um, where is it? Laura, Lori, Lori, Lori. Stand by. I'm going to tell you. If I could think of a joke to tell you, I would tell you. How do you make a handkerchief dance? You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> I just made myself laugh. Okay, um, crud. I don't even know what I'm going to uh, in a couple days. I know I'm going to be in San Diego. I'm going to be there for two days, and we are going to be learning how to create a product and something else. It's a it's a it's a two phase thing. In two days, in two days, we're going to get tons of training. And now I cannot even find 
the event that I'm going to. That's because I'm looking in the wrong area. Here we go. Hold on. I'm almost there. I can feel it. Ah, the ultimate. I'm going to be at the ultimate product creation and live streaming coaching event. Ultimate product creation and live streaming coaching event. Obviously, I need help <laughs> in uh, in what it is I've decided to have a, to make a living at, uh, at, and that is live streaming, which I'm doing now. Which uh, I, it's not a good example, not a good example of how to live stream. However, we've had good engagement. We've had some exciting talk about this app. But I will be uh, at Mike Kading's uh, office there in uh, San Diego for two days. At the Ultimate Product Creation and Live Streaming Coaching Event, I will be broadcasting from time to time from that event and maybe giving you updates about how this app is working. Maybe, maybe not, uh, but I'm going to be utilizing it. I'll be uh, sharing it with people, having them click on it and letting them know um, uh, what I think about it and uh, getting their input and that kind of stuff. And so next week we'll be coming back. I will get Ashley on the line and whoever else she may or may not want on the line with us. And we'll be bringing you more information about this app. All right, let me just check one more time to see if there's any more questions coming in. Uh, let's see. See all. I'm going to see all the comment. Oops, no, no. It didn't take me anywhere where near where I wanted to go. All right, better get an agency to call and remind you what you are doing. I know. Uh, help them, Lord, help them. <laughs> Good stuff, Andy. Thanks. You're welcome, Sandy. Thank you for at least you being the one uh, giving me a, 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 a helpful comment there. Thank you so much. Hold on. I can't see any more comments. They're not coming up. Gosh darn it. And I'm clicking on the thing, and it's not stuff, Oops. It's not showing me the other comments. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to have to just – I saw that uh, Ashley had a whole bunch of comments there, but I cannot get the screen to open up for me. I want it to open up into another window so I can see. I saw that uh, Ashley had a whole bunch of comments. Hold on. But I can... There we go. All right. Scroll down to the bottom here. Yes, I do. We have churches. Good. Sorry. Late to the show. Nope, that's the wrong direction. I'd like to be able to interview on it. Good. I want to do interviews. Does this work outside of you? We already talked about that one. All right. Maybe there weren't any more comments. Thank you for the laughs. <laughs> Thank you for the happy faces. Is, is that somebody laughing at me or laughing at the content or at my joke? Um, sorry, I'm trying to scroll here. It's just taking a really, really long time to scroll. Got, I'm, I'm up to Nobby joining us. Help him, Lord. Good. All right, I think we are all, I'm all caught up on all the comments. I think I'm good. All right, guys, so there we are. We have um, just thoroughly uh, run this broadcast to the ground. It is a great app. It is a great tool. Um, so far, so good. I really love uh, what it has to offer right now. Uh, it'll be great once it goes international. I can already tell because I have uh, most of the people watching are uh, somewhere else. <laughs> uh, they are either in Australia or in uh, the U.K., and so um, that will definitely be something that uh, Ashley, I'm sure, will take to her boss and, uh, and let them know. All right. So that's it for now. Again, I'm going to be broadcasting uh, a Thursday and Friday uh, from time to time. So make sure and stay tuned to the Facebook Live TV show. I may do something in Create a Launch a Profit. And since we're going to be creating uh, training and creating a product, maybe I'll uh, put some new tips that are coming to me uh, in that event and then make sure that they're in this product. And then... Um, uh, we'll be coming back next week talking more about this app and of course other stuff. I have some more training that I want to give you um, uh, in regard to putting your product together and that will be in the private group. All right. Thank you all for all the thumbs up and the happy faces and the laughing. Ashley, uh, again, thank you for putting up with my shenanigans uh, and everything that happened over at the Facebook Live TV show and here in Create a Launch a Profit. You've been fantastic answering all these questions. Uh, keep the dialogue going. Make sure and just get a hold of Ashley. Uh, tell your friends and family and colleagues and people that need uh, something like this and uh, and share uh, Ashley's app with them and you can see how easy it is to do that all right that is it I'm signing off as soon as I go to my button here and able to click it and I will see you at the next one again thank you all for your attention I'll see you later take care bye